Okay, an interesting course for you here, Pasa Tiempo, and it decided uh, we were going to snow, so we're going to play in the snow today at Pasa Tiempo, of course. Play in the white tees, which I think were kind of far, maybe like 6,500 or something like that. Um, but we're off and running on the first. It's a par four, and I hit a okay drive there. 170 remaining, and I did not hit a good approach shot. Runs almost into the rough, but at least we're in the fairway 50 feet away. Kind of a weird finish right there, but a good bounce off the fringe. And we're going to save par. The Pasatiempo, um, not a grand course. Kind of looks like a neighborhood country club, maybe. Um, has some cool features, some cool holes. And uh, I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I know I tend to like like all the courses, which most of the time is pretty correct. But, um... You know, this was not my favorite. It was okay. As we go through, we'll kind of just see that there's not, like, these standout features and stuff that I typically look for. Um, the brown on the outside of the green and roughs is not, like, a very nice thing to look at. It's like I'm playing winter golf, which I guess is true with the snow, so. Yikes. Chipping out of the bunker just barely reaches. Now I'm gonna chip again. And it did some sort of weird misread or something. It takes off dead left. That was strange. Could have, uh, saw like a piece of dirt or rock or something shoot left and low and just said that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna send over. Alright, let's get back on track here. Plus two through three, not ideal. I will keep reminding you as these videos are coming out the uh, videos within probably in the new year are going to have um, quite a different graphics feel to them. I was able to upgrade my graphics card which I've been talking about for a few videos but eventually the ones with the new card are going to come out and it's just going to be a much smoother um, experience especially because I took the card that's in this and I put it in the one that's recording everything and so we're just going to have a lot more um, computing power to handle all of these cameras and things uh, going on at once while the game's happening. That's really cruel. My par chip uh, slowly rolls out of the circle. Par 5 6 is underway with a little bit of a drive and then a really good second that splits the fairway and leaves 65 in. Hit it dead left. Oh man. Distance was good, just went a little left. Uh, this course does remind me of the one in San Diego, Torrey Pines. It's got these tall trees lining the fairways and uh, kind of looks like San Diego a little bit. I think it'd be snowing in San Diego though, so we'll have to take a look at that. Another bad approach shot, just not really dialed in with those. It does look fairly cold in the garage during this video, which can definitely affect um, the ball speed. Uh, I'll see some golf balls just split directly in half after being used um, in the garage during the winter, so there's definitely a factor 
of that happening as well. Uh, not gonna make it. That's gonna be another bogey. So plus four through the first eight. And he's doing so great here at Pasa Tiempo. Ninth hole is gonna bring another par five and another opportunity. Okay, missing the bunker at least, and then hitting a absolute laser beam up the side of this hill. And 44 remaining for a birdie. Come on, did it? Yep. Beautiful little chip. Set it next to the hole. I played in uh, real life this morning. Uh, it was very cold, but what I was actually happy with was um, part of it was because it was winter conditions, and so everything around the greens and the rough was just kind of flat and dead. But um, specifically around the greens, I was uh, really dialed in distance-wise of just feeling really confident taking the club back and flicking it towards the hole and getting uh, really good results. I had a couple just like little tap-ins um, trying to save par. That might have been the shortest chip in history by the way. 5.3 might be the lowest I've ever gotten to register. So uh, write that down. Put it in the record books. a short little drive there and then a slicey little shot towards the hole though and the false front grabs it and just throws it down the hill. Brutal. The swing on video during this round does not look very good. It looks um, really kind of up and down with my shoulders no. instead of having some sort of rotation and hands. That looked good. Almost missed the false front there again. But able to uh, knock that one in. Staying at plus four and hitting a drive down the fairway, leaving 120 remaining. See, that looked better to me. It was left, but the swing was better and the yardage, is, the yardage was better. Okay, another bogey. Three putts kind of killing. The 13th hole brings us another par five, and I thought I'd visit this other green real quick. On the left, I thought I can make it through that gap. <laughs> it got rejected immediately. Um, this ends up being an adventure. I it straight again end up getting through really which was amazing into a bunker though now and of course uh, save par why not why not so an adventurous par there leading to the 14th hole which is a 336 par 4 the driver is just not working here. End up with some rocks. And then hitting. I was trying to hit like a stinger out of there. And I forgot the GS Pro. When you're in the rough and you're trying to hit something low, it just eats it up completely. Another really lucky little run up to the hole to save par there as well. Here's that pin we were just at on the previous hole, trying to visit it, and then get in the rough. Well, yeah, the, the auto three putts were killing me, so I'd rather give myself a chance to chip it close. Kind of played a little chip and run up there, and settled nicely. 16th hole, still at plus five, so maybe we're just going to kind of cruise to the end of this thing. And uh, not be so disappointed. Oh man, really lucky to not bounce on that car path and end up 125 away 
trying to play something and I instant regret doing some sort of Dustin Pedroia hop up and down there to get ready and uh, it did not help. Now trying to play a huge flop shot. Oh, that's brutal. That, write that down as the first time in history that the ball rolled towards the ball and gave me uh, a par save. 17 and 18 are all that's left. When I conquer 17 and 18, I just feel so much better about the round. And I usually don't. The yardage right there was really good. Just a little left and kind of bounced forward on the fringe. But a par for 17 and 18 is a par 3, which makes me happy. Just trying to get it on the green. And literally can't do it. <laughs> so now a crazy flop shot again, 22 yards. But this one executed very nicely and then brutally rolls out of the gimme circle to bogey 18 and get me to plus six. I'm going to count that as a par in my head though. 75 in my head. A little anger there from previous round, David. Make sure to like and subscribe. we got lots of rounds coming every day. Lots of courses to review. Lots of Garmin R10 stuff and uh, whatever else is going on. Peace.